Hey team, let's talk about disruptive leadership. Should we? Yes and no. Disrupt, yes, but use the 1% rule, only 1% of the time. Let me explain my thinking. If you know me, you might label me as disruptive. I do like to use other adjectives and think they're better and more on that further down the page. I think disruptive can be a positive thing, but I don't think I am disruptive. Rather, I do believe that me and that leaders should question, challenge, and should interrupt and disrupt thinking with care, thought, strategy, and purpose. And of course, with utmost integrity. Disruptive leadership is a popular phrase at the moment. You either love it or hate it. I can see both sides of the coin. It is such a dramatic word. It is disturbing. After all, it can be seen as confronting and even troublemaking. There are the, then there are those who see it as a way of creating change. I suggest that disruptive is perhaps a dramatic way of saying intentional or conscious or impactful or accountable leadership. What is important here are the synonyms in communicating our meaning, our interpretation of these, our meaning, our why. To me, disruptive leadership is about consciously questioning and strategically interrupting a norm or an always done it like this practice. And it's about ethical leadership and interrupting and questioning with purpose and deliberate acts of leadership. It is about disturbing the equilibrium and the status quo and asks, asks us to be reflective. Some are calling it thought leadership. I'm not too keen on that one. I don't think it's big enough as a word or as a statement. What I do know, though, it's not about a crusade, a cause, advocating for someone's position and creating chaos. It is not about reacting to decisions or creating mutiny. It comes back to purpose, care, working with the needful and thought. It must be always about doing good. It may not be popular, but it should always be about what is doing about doing what is right. And others are saying that to be disruptive in leadership is about being pioneering or transformative. And these I don't actually agree with. You can be pioneering and transform transformative without being disruptive. It is better to suggest it is about redefining norms, about being transparent and explicit. It is about interrupting to move forward at just the right time into further success. Enter at this point the sigmoid curve. Rosemary Hipkins picks up on this in her article and I've got a link here for you. But the sigmoid curve has been around for a really long time. The sigmoid curve is a metaphor. It's a math term actually but it's been used in education as a metaphor for growth and change. Charles Handy started talking about this idea in education in 1994. It is not a new concept, rather a new name. We need to introduce a change before complacency comes. It's the, you go through the curve and you've got to go hit the change in that before you head on the downhill slide. It will feel uncomfortable. There will be a decline before you grow again. Not disrupting has an even worse effect, the great dive to failure. Sigmoid is the old school word for disruptive. Disruptive leadership is simply a name we give to a next step or a reaction or response to a time of change. It is a process in our pathway to achieving excellence. Tie the sigmoid curve with the trust triangle of Lencioni and we need, you know, we need trust to allow the team to challenge and to work with positive conflict. Without positive conflict we can't commit to new ideas and thinking. And then from commitment comes a call for accountability. And then with accountability, we can consider bringing attention to results. And it's in that order. Added to this, our workforce is looking for a different type of leader. Authority 
and power over does little's, little for teams today. There is little credibility in it and little interest in working for leaders who operate in this way. We want clarity, collaboration, workplaces of high trust, high engagement, commitment, and where we are accountable for our actions. Everyone. We want voice, leaders and all. It is not about fearless ventures, nurturing resistance, or creating revolutions. I say it again, it is about constructive questioning and constructive interruptions. It's about disturbing, thinking, being conscious, and creating a consciousness, and working with a conscious too. It's about deliberate acts of leadership, understanding and sharing the why, creating buy-in, valuing reflection, and working with intention. People want leaders who have a purpose and work ethically for a cause. It does require confidence, skill, the ability to listen, to facilitate, and to explore thinking through and with, not for and to, others. It asks for a flexible and open mindset, a clear vision, but a receptiveness to innovation and creativity to get there. Leaders who can work in domains of high ideation, problem solving, thinking strategically and with clarity, and high levels of communication. Disruptive leadership is achieving clarity ethically. It is leading with purpose. It is leading intentionally and deliberately. Join me on a disruptive leadership journey if you're interested. A new leadership pitches and courses starts in October. It's called Disruptive Leadership and Ethical Leadership Journey. Watch out, there's more coming on this soon.